Alright, Flight Buds here, and today we're going to give you the part 2 of the Q200. This is the final build of it, with all the engines installed, the ESCs, which are right under here. And uh, I'm just going to explain what parts I put in, and why I put them in there, so let's head right into it. So here we have the Q200, it's uh, carbon fiber, it's, I think it's 1.5 mil thick. The arms are very flimsy. I actually bought some carbon fiber props. They're 4x4x5s, four by four by but they came with their own nut. So uh, I had to cut them off because this has a smaller bolt to screw onto. And so this nut, when it fit onto the bolt, so I cut it all off and at the end it didn't end up working. And so I went with some 50-30 props. I cut them down to, let's see what it says here, right at like 4 inches a piece. So now I got 40-30 props. So here we have a Naze 32 control board. Uh, this is a running clean flight. And I just took it and had it do the auto tune function. And it worked absolutely amazingly. Uh, it still has a little bit of jitters that I go fine tune. But anyways, that's there I ran the wires up right through there it is kinda crowded right down here I'm actually probably gonna 3d print a cover that'll cover everything around the edges so we'll see how that works uh, for engines I'm using these are DYS 1306 engines and they're 3100 kV I got clockwise and counterclockwise so that the bolts always self tighten each other as the props are spinning back here we're running Right in here we got the Q200 transmitter with a 3 leaf clover antenna micro version. And for an FPV camera I'm running an Omniway 600 CMOS camera and uh, it all works really great. Actually the wires for the CMOS camera didn't quite work with the Q200 receiver. So I had to cut them all off, figure out my ground, my positive and my video signal, solder that all back together. And then I got them both to work together. They're both the same voltage, so that works. For ESCs, up under here, have a couple DYS 20 amp 2 to 4S ESCs. These things are super micro, like just crazy how small they are. So they fit up nice under there so that you don't see them when they're here. I'm going to eventually glue them on and take off all these zip ties. But uh, right now I'm just testing, making sure everything's working, uh, powering everything would be a 1300 milliamp uh, 3S battery and this thing flies amazingly. This thing has amazing power for its size. Granted, it's not carrying a GoPro, but anyways. The one thing I have found that I don't like with this frame is the standoffs are all plastic, so if you crash, or should I say when you crash, they're probably gonna end up breaking. Because these are DYS ESCs, I guess, they're, they are opitope, so they provide no power to your control board so I had to take a just I took a really cheap um, ESC that did provide power it's not plugged up to anything except it gives me power to my control board and my receiver which is right in here so everything is very tightly packed which makes for a very clean and tidy quadcopter alright so that's pretty much it on the Q200 build the total cost is right around hundred dollars I don't have the exact amount by the time you put in uh, engines, ESC's, FPV gear and all that you're definitely cheaper than going with like the Blade Nano QX but then you also can't really fly this in like your house because it is a little bit bigger and it definitely has power as you're gonna see in the flight video which I'm about to show you so uh, let's head on out and go see the flight video.
thanks for watching the video. If you want to support the YouTube channel, then head on over to my Patreon campaign over here and uh, check it out. So Patreon's like an ongoing Kickstarter campaign. You choose the amount of money you want to put in. You can also set a maximum amount of money to give every month so you don't go over your budget. The big thing with the Patreon is it just allows you guys to become part of each video. So there's different prizes that will be given out for different amounts of money that you give and each one is different so the content will always be free this will just help us get better camera gear uh, different products to review planes remote controls quadcopters multi rotors of all sorts FPV gear just a whole bunch of different things that by you supporting the YouTube channel will make better videos for you to view and the nice thing is you get something in return every prize is different for every different amount that you spend so uh, head on over there and go check it out. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.